Good morning, folks. Today we've got a couple important things to hit. We'll go over an earthquake, an interesting paper with multiple conclusions on Earth's rotation, and of course, we've got space weather. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. And folks, we took an X-class solar flare just a few minutes ago this morning. It was otherwise a fairly quiet day with only minor pops, flares, and surges, but nothing larger until just this morning. We have also been looking at these large coronal holes, and the forecast is in for them too. First, the geomagnetic storm from the last 36 hours is over. Solar wind finally calming down from the CME impact, and as that wake passes, so does the geomagnetic instability. As I mentioned, we took an X-class solar flare this morning, a bit out of nowhere actually. It erupted from those new sunspots on the north. They are not huge, but they are complex with several umbral cores packed in there. Flare potential certainly exists at a few of the other active regions too, so we'll be watching. And folks, sometime tomorrow, the coronal hole stream is going to arrive, but it may not be alone. NOAA space weather forecasters suggest a minor CME may have left the sun about 48 hours ago and could arrive just as the coronal hole stream is ramping up. We will have eyes open for that tomorrow. There was a strongly felt earthquake striking deep at the low velocity zone beneath Chile. Hopefully that is not a foreshock because while it was widely felt, there are no reports of significant injury or damage from this one. Lastly today, top science news comes in the form of a paper describing how well Earth's variable rotation matches up with climate shifts. The paper overtly bashes the IPCC for not including it in their models, sort of like how they ignore 90% of solar forcing and the effect of losing Earth's magnetic field strength in the ongoing pole shift. But also, folks, remember, when these pole shifts happen, there are always also shifts in the rotation speed of our planet and in the climate. This study may have actually added another reason why the climate goes bananas during the geomagnetic reversal. Folks, the 2025 pole shift conferences are set. You can see the dates there. And don't forget, Dr. Dunning will be the special guest May 3rd and 4th, a two-day event. Pick a time, come out and see us, observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.